Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Recap. This is the show where I look at your comments from the past episode and react to them. If you want to be in the next Recap, the best way is to comment on the latest episode that I put out every week. That would surely get my attention. And if you comment within the first few days before the weekend, then I would likely see your comment. Because weekends are usually so busy for me. That's when I start filming. Speaking of filming, you might be wondering what's up with these plants. I've got some of their flowers, flower stalks covered in uh, paper towels. And the reason for that is I'm trying to keep the pollinators away from the flowers. And by pollinators, I mean the bees, flies, birds, what have you. So as you can imagine, one of the upcoming episodes would be manually pollinating my echeverias. We're going to talk about that towards the end of this video when I talk about the next episode or the upcoming episodes. So stick around till the end. So the last episode was episode 88 and it was about my tulips. It wasn't exactly a succulent related video, so it, it wasn't as popular as my other videos. But nonetheless, I still got lots of responses, which is pretty good. So on to the comments. First one is from Mayan Judith Maske. Thank you for this nice video. Thank you so much, I'm glad you like it. From Maria Puentes, you have a beautiful family. Thank you so much. From Betzling Sia, nice video. Chuck, lovely to see your family in the video. I hope you are feeling better. Now you've got me into tulips as well. <laughs> LOL. Thanks. I'm glad you're seeing the tulips in a new light now. Because I really think that they would make nice contrast against the succulents, especially since they are taller. So, uh, the succulents by themselves already look nice. They look nice year round. But it would be, how do you say it? An icing on top of the cake when the tulips come out. And that would be sometime during spring. So yeah, I think the tulips pack that extra punch, you know? From Maya C, I love those tulips. They look amazing. From Kathy Gilbreth, beautiful tulips. Enjoyed seeing your family. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. From Julie Dorling, lovely to know that with some research and careful selection that companion planting with succulents is possible. Your kiddies are growing so quickly. Yeah, I, I've been looking around for uh, plants that are uh, xeriscape friendly, drought tolerant. When I actually, when I started, when I started this hobby of uh, planting succulents in the ground, I had a couple of. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for them. Oh, there, I see them there. I had a few cordyline plants. They are this uh, bush with um, sharp leaves, I think. I was planning to use them as the, the phallus or the tall part of the, the garden. And the way that they look like was, how do we... I think the best way to describe it is that it looks like a, a fountain, you know? Where it, yeah, I think, I think that's, a, that's a good way to describe it. I, or better yet, I should just show you. Yep, companion planting, I think it would be great, especially if they flower at different times of year. That way, when one finishes flowering, something else is flowering. And I think tulips is one of those. I am contemplating mixing something, something in, something that blooms during autumn, like lilies, liliums. I've been seeing a lot of bulbs in my local nursery, so I don't know, part of me wants to try, but uh, I might not have the space. Yeah, i leave it at that for now. <laughs> From Monolop, what's nice about tulips is that you mix their pollen with both two types of tulips and then they give you seeds. And when you plant them, the tulips will sort of be multicolored. Ah, ah, is it too late? Well, too bad because I don't know where to get tulip seeds in my country. Nice video. This is funny because my dad wants to grow tulips as well. And he's also from the Philippines. I don't think there are tulip... Are there? I don't know. I'm not going to be so quick to dismiss that there are any sellers there. But yeah, I think it'd be... Like, like Monolop said, it would be really hard to find tulips in the Philippines or at least uh, potted or already grown tulip plants. So yeah, this would be, this would be interesting. 
from Karen Lottering. Pretty flowers. I have been to a Clivia show and wow, I saw some stunning ones. I came home with an Echeveria Black Knight, nicknamed him Lancelot, as my Black Prince is King Arthur. <laughs> I love the names. <laughs> That's really good, man. From Rudy Succulent Obsession. Great video information. Love to see your family. Your children are beautiful. May God bless them always. Thank you. Thanks for information on tulips, which now gives me other options in my garden. Thanks for sharing. I'm glad that you like the idea and once you do it, please share some photos with me. I'd like to see them. From Isa Zidlauska. Nowhere does it say succulents. Still can't get used to thinking of tulips as water-wise plants. They are approached differently here in the Northern Hemisphere, very old-time traditional garden staple. I like how you are looking at tulips with a fresh set of eyes. Can't wait to see something like a sea of imbricatas with islands of tulips. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Mm. You just gave me an idea. P.S. How can you tell that the tulips were fertilized? Well, I think my basis for this was that the pistols, you know, the, the parts with ha which has the pollen, they have already fallen out. And I think the, the ovaries, the ovule in the middle, in the middle of the, the pistil, or the, the female part of the flower, it's already bulging. So I think it's starting to produce well, I think it has started the seed production phase already. Unlike last week, I was down with hay fever, but now uh, it's slightly better. At least my nose is not as clogged and my voice is almost back to normal. I still get some bouts of sneezing every once in a while. Uh, there's a lot of cuts in this video, as you might notice. It's just me sneezing in between. <laughs> Let's look at the comments on Facebook. There's just one and it's my dad. He's saying that the flowers look really nice. And let's look at the and let's look over at Facebook. There's only one comment and it's from my dad and he's saying that the flowers look beautiful. <laughs> I think uh, to get a better uh, I think I'm not getting as much comments on my Facebook video as I'd like and in order to fix that, I might have to change around the schedule a bit. So from the next episode, I think I'll be posting the Facebook version a day after rather than two days after. Because I think two days is too long, uh, too big of a gap. So that means that Let's Plant would come out Tuesday morning on YouTube, then Wednesday morning on Facebook. Actually, I'm even contemplating changing the time slot because maybe my morning isn't the best time for everyone. A lot of my audience is from the United States, some from Australia and the Philippines. And uh, my morning would mean that it would be late night on the other side of the world and it would be very early morning in the Philippines. So it might not be conducive to all of those time zones. If I switch it around, maybe around I don't know, maybe I could shift it a few hours. I'll have a think about it. I haven't really thought about it yet. If you could comment here and let me know what time you think would be best for you, please comment down below. Please let me know your country or your time zone and your preferred time of day to watch because that would greatly help me, you know. Because if I'm going to adjust a time slot, then it should be at a time that suits the majority of my viewers. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Now about the next episode, let's go back to these plants. And as you can see, I've got them, I've got the flowers covered. This is actually not the next episode, but the episode after the next one. Because the next episode was this. I harvested flowers from existing flower stalks that are already pollinated and sowed them in this planter. These are actually flowers from my Echeveria Romeo and I'm hoping I get success with these. And here's some of my notes. I've labeled each cell in the planter and added the corresponding name of the plant that I used or the seeds that I used. I've added some notes like the time and the day when I sowed them and at the same time added a few notes about the texture about the whether the seeds were wet or dry because i wanted to this is mainly an experiment i wanted to know at what state uh, the seeds would be perfect for sowing for harvesting 
So in my previous attempts, I just went for somewhere in age-wise, somewhere in the middle. I'm not sure if I harvested the seeds too early or too late. And in this experiment, I harvested seeds from early flowers and from late flowers. From So there's a range of old, just right, and young. And I wanted to know which, which age, well, I can't really say the age. I'm not sure when they have been fertilized. But I wanted to know how dry is too dry, I guess. And uh, the results of this would help me pinpoint that. And that would be really helpful for my future pollination, maybe sometime next year. Unfortunately, this ones won't be benefiting from that knowledge yet because it takes a lot of time, uh, several weeks or a few weeks to up to several weeks before uh, the seeds would germinate. So by the time they germinate, I would have already pollinated this and I would have already started uh, harvesting from them. Anyway, I am waiting on several other flowers to open and I'll, I'll be doing, maybe I'll be moving them to pots as well and doing the same as this. So I'll be covering the flowers. Because that way I would have full control over which two flowers, which two plants were hybridized. And I would know exactly which plant I mixed it with. And who knows, if this is successful, I would have my own hybrids. It would make my dream of Echeveria Seriska page a reality. Well, maybe not that name, but you know, once we get successful germination, then that's when I'll start thinking of the name. Here's some raw scenes from the next episode. And that's it for the recap. Please like and subscribe from whatever platform you're in. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.